Let's see how to write all the terms in the expansion of x plus 2 raised to the power of 5. While comparing this expression to the left-hand side of our binomial expansions formula, we can see that the only difference is that we replaced a by x, b by 2, and n by 5. So to get started, we can copy the right-hand side of this formula, replacing every a that we see by x, every b by 2, and every n by 5. In other words, we can state that this equals to the sum from r equals to 0 up to 5 of the binomial coefficient 5r times x raised to the power of 5 minus r times 2 raised to the power of r. And this expression that I'm currently underlining in green is the general term of our expansion, which I usually call t of r, t as in term. So we could state that this is equal to the sum from r equals to 0 up to 5 of t of r. Now this sum is telling us to add all of the terms we obtain by replacing r by all of the integer values between 0 up to 5 included. In other words, this is equal to t0 plus t1 plus t2 plus t3 plus t4 plus t5. And to obtain each of these terms, t0, t1, t2, and so on, we use the expression that we have for our general term that I underlined in green here. And in fact, I'll just write it on the side here. Remember, the general term, tr, is equal to the binomial coefficient, 5r, times x to the power of 5 minus r, times 2 raised to the power of r. So for t0, the first term, we replace every r that we see inside this expression by 0. In other words, this is equal to 5, 0, times x to the power of 5 minus 0, times 2 raised to the power of 0. We add on to that t1, for which we replace every r that we see by 1. So that would be the binomial coefficient 5, 1, times x raised to the power of 5 minus 1, times 2 raised to the power of 1. We add on to that t2, for which we replace every r that we see by 2. So that's 5, 2, times x to the power of 5 minus 2, times 2 raised to the power of 2. And we add on to that t3, where we replace every r by 3. That's 5, 3, times x to the power of 5 minus 3, times 2 raised to the power of 3. And we add on to that t4, replacing each r that we see by 4. So that's 5, 4, times x to the power of 5 minus 4, times 2 raised to the power of 4. And finally, we add on to that t5, for which we replace every r by 5. So that's 5, 5, times x to the power of 5 minus 5, times 2 raised to the power of 5. And at this stage, we have written all of the terms of this expansion. But we can't stop there. We need to simplify each of these as much as possible. And for that, we start by simplifying all of the powers of x that we see, as well as calculating any of the powers of 2 that we have. And when doing so, it's worth keeping in mind that any number x raised to the power of 0 is just equal to 1. So we can just ignore any power of 0 completely. It's also worth pointing out that any number x raised to the power of 1 is just equal to x. In other words, we don't bother writing any powers of 1. So with those results in mind, let's go ahead and simplify each of these terms. The first term we have here, x to the power of 5 minus 0 times 2 to the power of 0. Well, that's just going to be x to the power of 5 times 2 to the power of 0, which, as we've just seen, would be equal to 1. So we can just ignore this 2 to the power of 0. We add on to that the next term, in which we have an x to the power of 5 minus 1 times 2 to the power of 1. And that's going to turn into x to the power of 4 times 2. We carry on. Looking in the next term, we have x to the power of 5 minus 2 times 2 squared, which will simplify to x to the power of 3 times 2 squared, which is 4. We carry on. In the next term, we have x to the power of 5 minus 3 times 2 to the power of 3. Well, x to the power of 5 minus 3 is x to the power of 2, or x squared, times 2 to the power of 3, which is 8. We carry on. In the next term, we have x to the power of 5 minus 4 times 2 to the power of 4. 
Well, x to the power of 5 minus 4 is x to the power of 1. And as we saw previously, x to the power of 1 is just equal to x. So we'll have x times 2 to the power of 4. And 2 to the power of 4 is 16. Finally, for the last term, we have x to the power of 5 minus 5 times 2 to the power of 5. Now, x to the power of 5 minus 5 will be x to the power of 0, and since that's equal to 1, we can ignore that completely. And 2 to the power of 5, well, 2 to the power of 5 is equal to 32, so we'll have 32 there. So at this stage, we can state that this expansion is equal to the binomial coefficient 5, 0 times x to the power of 5, plus the binomial coefficient 5, 1, times x to the power of 4, times 2, plus the binomial coefficient 5, 2, times x to the power of 3, times 4, plus the binomial coefficient 5, 3, times x to the power of 2, times 8, plus 5, 4, times x, times 16, and finally, we add the last term, 5, 5, times 32. All we have to do now is calculate the value of each of these binomial coefficients. And for that, we could just go ahead and use the binomial coefficient formula that we have here, but rather than wasting time with that, it's best to remember the rules that we saw in our previous tutorials. Remember, the first and the last binomial coefficient will always be equal to 1. So I'm just going ahead and writing equals to 1 there. Another important rule is that the second as well as the second to last, will always equal the power to which we raise the binomial, so in this case, 5. So we can go ahead and write that the second binomial coefficient is 5, and the second to last is also 5. Finally, do remember that the values of the binomial coefficients are perfectly symmetrical as we go from left to right, or from right to left, meaning the values of the binomial coefficients are the mirror images of each other across the middle of the expansion. And that tells us that the third coefficient as we go from left to right will be equal to the third coefficient as we go from right to left. In other words, the coefficient 5, 2 will be equal to the coefficient 5, 3. And as such, that's the only coefficient we actually have to calculate. So let's go ahead. Using the binomial coefficient formula, we can state that the binomial coefficient 5, 2 is equal to factorial 5 over factorial 5 minus 2 times factorial 2. That's equal to factorial 5 over factorial 3 times factorial 2. Now factorial 5 can be written as 5 times 4 times factorial 3, and that's still over factorial 3 times factorial 2. We can now simplify the factorial 3 at the top and at the bottom, and since factorial 2 is equal to 2, this becomes 5 times 4 over 2. And calculating that, we quickly find that the binomial coefficient 5, 2 is equal to 10. So going back to our binomial expansion, the third coefficient going from left to right, as well as the third coefficient going from right to left, are both equal to 10. Using these values, we can now finally state the final answer. And that is that x plus 2 raised to the power of 5 is equal to 1 times x to the power of 5, so that's just x raised to the power of 5, plus 5 times x to the power of 4 times 2. So multiplying the 5 and the 2 together, that's equal to 10 times x to the power of 4. We add to that 10 times x to the power of 3 times 4, which is 40 times x to the power of 3, plus 10 times x squared times 8. So that's 80x squared. We add to that 5 times x times 16, which leads to 80x. And finally, we add to that the last term, which is 1 times 32, which is just 32. And we're done. We've just written all of the terms in the expansion of x plus 2 raised to the power of 5 using the binomial expansions formula. In our next tutorial, we'll learn how to deal with binomials, in which we're dealing with a subtraction instead of an addition inside the parentheses. So do make sure to watch it. For now, though, that's it for this tutorial.